Hello, hello everybody. Today we are going to be continuing our Age of Calamity playthrough. Last time, I forget the specific main quest. Oh, I think it was up here is the main one we did, Akala Tower. We got all the champions together. They became champions. We sent them off to Akala, which was being invaded by the Yiga. And uh, then we just got uh, invaded by the fairies, which is just a very surprising thing. So we'll just quickly do a few of these, like, upgradey ones. And then these other little side quests. Maybe a vicious. Maybe a vicious. It's hard to remember which ones, like, I've done or not. Maybe the Hyrule Outpost vicious one, just because we could. Ooh, Link 2 bonus hearts. It's going to take so much of the, like, very expensive meat and chicken. From the YouTube chat, hello, hello! We're just doing more Age of Calamity! In a seldom visited place, it's a statue covered with moss. Youths from a nearby village want to clean up the unattended, untended figure. How about giving them some food to expedite their work? That's a lot of food! That's just like a whole lot of food! <laughs> Energized by a wholesome meal, the young folks quickly spruced up the statue so it looked good as new. The goddess's smile seemed to practically sparkle. And now we're on to the second row of hearts for Link. Ooh, another Impa special attack gauge. These are very valuable for bursting down enemies. And plus it allows me to have two, so when I max out I can use one kind of frivolously and start building up the other one again. Hatino Pasture is looking to change its wheat supplier. No matter the expense, they want higher quality crops to feed their livestock and stuff their pillows. Tabantha is famed for its wheat, but... No idea why there was a but. I am stronger than before. The family at Hatino Pasture was over the moon about those beautiful golden wheat stalks. They soon signed a deal with a grower in Tabantha, deepening the bonds between their two villages. I think, hmm, depends, I guess, how much, how many hearts the fairies have, but I think bonus combos are more valuable. To augment the great fairies' power, you must present them with an offering, gathering precious stones to craft a pair of earrings that would suit Kotora. Kotera. However you say it, and that goes all of my oh, awful... Oh. Whenever I hear a character say it's overflowing, my brain just jumps to Broly. Mostly because of the Lythero videos. Like, my power, it's overflowing! Craftsmen were commissioned to fashion enormous earrings encrusted with opals. Kotero was quite pleased. The offering inspired her to devise an entirely new move. <laughs> so wanna chat about something? Hmm. Not sure. It's certainly something, but nothing's leaping out of me. Maybe discussing history mythology from around the world? Maybe. That makes me wonder, like, if, like, The Legend of Zelda world has much, like, in-universe mythology. That'd be neat. But good god. Just all of the fairy stuff are just so expensive. They want all of the gems. Just all of the gems. Mifa bonus combo. It seems that by diving to the bottom of the river and collecting sunken luminous stones, Mifa may learn how to move and attack more fluidly. I am stronger than... Mifa collected an enormous number of luminous stones from the riverbed, leaving not one behind. She has cornered the market. No one else will ever have luminous stones again. She emerged from the water with improved swimming and spear skills as well as a new move. Ah, new strong attack. Very nice. Let's see. The fairies are just all over the place. Ooh, we can just get a great fairy special attack gauge plus already. Lushify the spring. 
The great fairies have all been in dour moods lately as the offerings in their fountains have dwindled. Gather some flashy flora to draw attention to the great fairy fountains. To me, it sounds like the great fairies need a cult to get people to come and actually maintain everything. The colorful plants brought a raft of visitors to the great fairy fountains. Now receiving more visitors than ever before, Melania and the four sisters all appear quite cheery indeed. Ooh, a Bosa bonus combo. Stealth mission. Hearing about a horde of monsters up on Thondra Plateau, Urbosa set out to investigate personally. Of course, it's a risky mission. Get something that would keep her hidden from the enemy. Maybe she'll find that Rito warrior lady that was also annihilating monsters. Urbosa returned with welcome news. The monsters' numbers were few. Evidently, the eyewitness had mistaken shadows from a lightning flash for a horde of fearsome foes. I'm going to assume that that is Urbosa actually taking them out. <laughs> How else would she get a bonus combo from that? Ooh, a Sheikah Slate bonus combo. Impa is worried about the researchers at the Royal Tech Lab. Their work has hit an impasse, and they're all feeling frustrated. Maybe there's something you can do to ease the tension. I could have sworn that we already did this one. And it's like, ah, the incense helps. The Royal Tech Lab was steeped in calming vapors. With their frayed nerves soothed, the researchers made a major breakthrough. You can expect even better results from them now. I just all of the... It feels like Zelda doesn't have like a long list of combos. I guess it makes sense. She's not really a warrior. She just learns to spam more powerfully. From you to chat. Ooh, here's an interesting topic. What about meanings from names and words from other languages and their translations. I know that's like a... I'm trying to think of the word. That's like a popular way of doing certain naming things, like taking a name from another language. So that's like, ah, it seems interesting, but it does, like you can basically name it itself and people won't know. Apparently the game is saying go to the blacksmiths. Ah, oh, it's because she <laughs> they have no weapons currently. Makes sense. I'm trying to think like uh, what things I've had in the past that were like like that. Where they did indeed hmm. Throw that on, maybe. So we do have a decent amount of money. <laughs> the Great Eagle Bow will become the greatest bow ever around. Oh, let's see. We can find... Like that, get more damage per 100 mm -hmm. for maximum <laughs> damage. For example, there, here's a language history behind the word Psyche. I presume it's Psyche because it's either Psyche or Psyche. In ancient Greek, it translates into two Eng uh, English words, souls and butterfly. Yeah. I wonder why that is specifically. Then again, like a lot of words have like had strange <laughs> histories like... How hotel is technically a shortened variant of hospital because the ancient Latin was like a guest was a hospice, so a hospitalis was a guest house. Just weird little things like that. Language just evolves in interesting and odd ways. But before we get distracted... Let's see. A new trial has emerged. The power of enemy attacks has been augmented. Don't let enemies sneak up on you. No healing items and one hit failure. 
and let's go in with the boy. You call this surprising? I'm trying to think because there's like other weird words. They're like, oh yeah, that's just the word, and then its history is like not what you'd expect. Then again, that's kind of like how. Like, it uh, kind of reminds me of, like, uh, I believe it was when people first came to the Americas. They asked the local people, like, hey, what do you call this? And, uh, like, I think they, like, I forget the actual thing. It's either like, oh, we don't know, or we don't know what you're saying, or that's just this simple thing. And they thought it was this grand name for the thing. Completely forget because it's been a bit. Need to be careful. They don't because <laughs> I can probably be shot by their bows. Like, hey, look, bow people. Luckily I have range. Which is why I took Revali for this one. Damn it! They spawned on top of me. You dare? Very rude. It's a little shenanigans that they can spawn like that. Take this, fools. The camera is having a freak out. Boy, stop. Because I know you're in there now. And I'll do this instead. You stand a chance. Not exactly what I wanted. You dare spawn in, waving attacks around. Watch and learn. I shall blast you first. You stand a chance. Oh, come on, I used this special attack, you dare. Be still. Take this. Stop. Like, at least that makes sense for all the missing. You dare be evil little worms, trying to not get hit by my attacks, how dare. They only got me with a jump scare of Yiga. The most illegal type of thing. Oh yeah, I need to remember to do that. Some point. Kill enemies with the firepower. <laughs> YouTube chat. In ancient Greek mythology, it's believed that butterflies are a form of spiritual creatures or carries the soul of the dead into the afterlife realm. Huh. I guess... Huh. That kind of makes me think of, um... Like, uh... Kirby, because... In uh, Star Allies, they introduced, like, a butterfly-themed guy... That was kind of like that. Like, has ties to the afterlife, so... I was like, that's actually interesting. That, like, butterflies being related to spirits and souls... Kind of makes sense. And now a Link one, Restricted Allies, the Royal Escort. Zelda is preoccupied with important research. Can Link keep her safe as the forces of evil loom ever closer? What? Let us see if he can. Mm. Let's go, Link, and set people on fire. Zoom. Yeah, continuing on, like, from last time, my brain is still very much on, ooh, I want to play Ocarina of Time. 
So if we like beat this and like all the DLCs relatively quickly, and my mood is still on that, we may very well do Ocarina of Time before Tears of the Kingdom. Mostly because Ocarina of Time probably would not take as long as Tears of the Kingdom would, especially because I'd want to try and really delve in and experience it. And also very neat uh, of like uh, the 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 great fairies little hieroglyph has been added. There's certainly a lot of monsters. Let's deal with them cautiously as we advance. What is this caution you speak of? Use a bit of... Ooh, that's one thing. Maybe I should try and get enemies to clump up. But first I'll kill you, because you dare hide in cave. You dare hide in cave? That's illegal. Major illegality. Yeah, that's one thing I'll definitely need to do is try and get enemies super clumped up to maximize my magic usage. Come on, spawn a big clump of enemies. Or is Zelda just gonna hang around the enemies for some reason? I guess we have to clear them all out. Very well. I guess it's kind of like the time we escorted that soldier as Mipha, the escortee, demands... Ooh, this music's good. Yeah, the escortee demands we hold their hand through everything. If they see a monster, they just flip out. Oh, no. He's a monster. Get frozen, idiot. Oh, two of them. Doubly legal. I kill you both. Now prepare to die. That's your job. Get out of here. I twirled in the air and smacked you in the head. Oh, hey, Suga. Ow. I was expecting Blade Master, it's not Suga. Very rude. I'm being comboed by these guys. <laughs> Get ice blocked. You fool. You know what? I'm gonna come up here and beat up your friend. In a way, this kind of works. I get you both. <laughs> At least I got your big boy. Now you are alone in the world. Get frozen. Annihilation upon you. Oh, but can't do that. Uh, hold that pose, maybe? Perfect. <laughs> he just held that <laughs> eternally for me. Thank you, Suga. In a way, I wonder if, like, some of these side missions are... Almost like pseudo cannon. Like, there was a time where Link and Zelda were just out and about, and suddenly the Yiga were there to destroy everything. Could be interesting. You dare backflip away? I bomb you! 
I almost forgot to <laughs> divert my aim. My, I'm a disgrace. Ah, only slightly. Only slightly, Suga. I don't... <laughs> Zelda barely got a scratch on her throughout all that. And I kind of left a... Yiga Blade Master to try and attack her for a bit. I must thank you. You saved me. Well, I am literally your appointed knight. Oh, and actually, speaking of, like, uh, other language and words, that reminds me of a fun fact for Majora's Mask, where since Majora's Mask was, like, something they didn't have a lot of time to make, because originally they were trying to make, I believe, an updated Ocarina of Time for the uh, Nintendo 64 disk drive, only for the disk drive to kind of fall through, so like, oh, we're still on track for making a Zelda game. So this, uh, they asked this other Nintendo, like, head program guy to come in and do something for him. And, uh, uh, he was kind of allowed to do whatever he wanted, but they had, like, less than a year to make Majora's Mask. And so that's why the game is that kind of way, where it's like, ah, weird, mysterious, kind of alternate world to Hyrule because uh, they had to reuse a bunch of assets. So the sign that was used for the Romani Ranch in Madro's Mask was taken from the Kokiri Forest. So uh, in ancient Hy Hylian, I believe, you could still translate it to say Kokiri Forest or Kokiri Village instead of the Romani Ranch that it actually is. Ooh, and another special attack gauge up. Yes. I had it hovered the entire time, and I was just too busy talking fun facties. Frog side effects. Link has been asked to help Princess Zelda study the effects of frog-based elixirs. She needs more specimens to use her in her experiments. Why doesn't he make himself useful and catch some? Go do your job, Link. Link brought an impressive haul of frogs to the research lab. Princess Zelda used the abundant amphibians to make great strides in her research. And then I believe... I forget if they fixed the Romani Ranch sign saying Kokiri Forest un until, like, uh, a further iteration of Mutro's Mask, or if it was until the, like, 3DS remake that they actually... We're able to do it. Colosseum. Oh yeah, we already kind of saw that. And then there's Innkeeper's Request, which is probably a sequel to... Oh, I could have sworn there was like another like request, but maybe not. And Great Fairy Training. There's like so many things. But... Come up here. Give Hestu some extra hearts. <laughs> A Korok who loves mushrooms more than anything in the world is planning to open their very own mushroom shop. Grab some first-rate fungi as a gift to celebrate the grand opening. Help the Kor... Help the Korok. <laughs> Be funny if we just... Began, like, trading with the Koroks, these ephemeral spirits. And they just kind of become a normal staple of Hyrule in this timeline. Admiring their wide selection of wares, the Korok began to cry. They couldn't bear to sell these beautiful shrooms. Instead of a shop, they opened a mushroom museum for all to enjoy. That's kind of adorable. It's like, this is kind of like, in a way, the slice of life. Legend of Zelda. Where the characters just, ah, oh, we have to help this Korok gather some shrooms for this thing. And it's like, I can't sell them. I'll make a museum. Well, has to bonus combo. A timid Korok has finally plucked up the courage to pursue their dream of venturing outside Korok Forest. They're bound to get lonely, so make them a packed lunch to remind them of home. Are they also going to refuse to eat it because it too much reminds them of home? After spreading out the packed lunch and giving it their nod of approval, the Korok danced its way out of Korok Forest. Gone for now, but certain to turn up where you least expect them. 
And I believe that's... Oh, nope, there's one down here. Great Fairy's bonus heart. Kakariko Village is home to a singularly fervent group of Great Fairy adherents, and they wish to boost tourism so that more people give tribute. Take some local specialties and spread the word. I find it kind of funny that the Great Fairies are kind of taking the role of, oh, we worship them and give them tribute. As opposed to Hylia. With word of the delicious Kakariko crops spread far and wide, there was a huge influx of tourists. This is bound to increase the amount of offerings to the Great Fairy Fountain. You know, if they put up a sign saying, hey, fountain this way. Fish out of water. Who should do this one? I guess... Well, honestly, maybe Mipha. Because fish... Surprise, she is a fish out of water. And from YouTube chat, there's also more. You know about the life of caterpillars into butterflies? The word chrysalis, cocoons, also have meaning in Greek translations. It means the empty shell of the dead. Eh. I guess that also kind of makes sense. And also kind of interesting if you, like, this is just me spitballing. But I wonder if the Greeks kind of looked at, like, caterpillars and thinking, oh, they died, and then, like, their spirit was a beautiful butterfly fly flying away kind of thing. Maybe. Potentially, potentially. Oh. And it's also kind of poetic. Very interesting, like, just like a thing of those ancient people admiring animals and, like, oh, 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 I love that move. That move <laughs> reminds me of, uh, uh, Rudo's from Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. It was my favorite combo from her. <laughs> Yeah, just like, it's very cool how, like, ancient peoples would admire animals and kind of, what's the word, philosophize over them. It's just very cool. Out of the way, Lizolfos. I have people to save. I have to turn the tide. Let's see. We go this way. Although there is, like, another way. Of which, why would they have another way if there was nothing up here? Is the question, is it just boxes? Could just be that they're reusing map design, so... But still, you'd think they would have put another gate down here to block it off rather than have it, but who knows. Maybe they figured, ah, we'll put some boxes up there. As a treat. But now I'm wondering, like... With, like, the Greek philosophy of, like, ooh, butterflies are... This makes me wonder of, like, if any, like, Greeks would have then attributed, like, chrysalis and butterfly motifs to, like, Hades and the underworld. Don't worry, Zora Captain, I'm on my way. Although I just realized this is funnily enough one of those ones where I technically can just fly on by all the enemies. If I really wanted to. Don't die on me. It would be very rude. I'm swimming on land as fast as I can. Which is already very impressive, I'll have you know. A rescue party? Thank goodness I'm saved!
Prepare for death. Be gone. And that just leaves you, singular ice moblin. Freeze you, and then smack you around a lot. Oh, but now I can't use it properly. Using it greedily made me fail to use it properly. There is a Saturday morning cartoon show moral in this combat-laden wasteland. I'm just glad it made I made it through in one piece. Yes. We were in dire straits there. Thank you for the rescue. Booyah. And this is the first time we got a star fragment. <laughs> but it could also be used in certain recipes. I wonder what it even can be used for in this game. I don't have to play around flailing. It'll just come to me or not. Da 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 da. Yes, yes, vicious presence, we all know. Just makes me imagine, like, yes, yes, the vicious presence, we all know it. Let's do great fairy training. Especially because we get diamonds from this. Alright, great fairies. How the hell did we even get them up on the tower? <laughs> what, what would it look like if I took the great fairies into, like, a normal... Like, story battle. They'd have to fly with a helicopter, helicopter on out there. The idea sounds amusing. There. Hmm, let me see. Summon a different great fairy depending on the attack used. Unleash a unique attacks from each fairy. Okay. Ready to shine. Very interesting. Also, they have the loudest voices. Oh, you dare get in the way of the great fairy? Illegal. This is the most I've flurry rushed the whiz robe. Goodbye. Oh, hey, the, the horse god. I don't think I ever awakened him. You gave it your all, huh? You deserve this. <laughs> We're just gonna smack you with death. Ready? I do like that it does now imply that, like, their great powers were, like, just, like, more literal. Witness the power of plants. Also, you'd think that would be very bad, like, mojo to try and gank what is essentially a demigod. Where is that Yiga guy? Ah, oh, oh, you're over here. 
We shall annihilate you. Oh, I'd like to imagine that the great fairies aren't even using the the runes. They're just that powerful that they can summon bombs, freeze people. It's time. Just with their will. They are the most talkative. I swear. But why do I have to kill Hestu? I really should have, like, read up the... Like, uh... Everything. I should have read the combat log, like, introduction. Oh, you did a lot of damage. That's bad. Go ahead and freeze you so you don't come against me. Thanks, Goodbye, Hestu. You get horsed to death. Well, that's neat. Hestu actually refers to the fairy as specifically a fairy, but then again, it kind of makes sense to a degree because. If they're going to put a character into a character-specific, like, training battle, I guess it would make sense to be like, select the one that would indeed do that. <laughs> Dazzling beads. These are their bitch-slapping hands. And we got diamonds from it. Huzzah. And from YouTube chat, exactly. There's also a love story from ancient Greeks, the tale of Eros and Psyche. Yeah, I think I remember watching Overly Sarcastic Productions' video on that, I believe. <laughs> like, Aphrodite just completely torturing... A uh, yeah, Psyche, I think it is, because Eros, I think, was her son, at least in this version. Which is funny, because if, uh, if I remember correctly from Overly Sarcastic Production again that Eros was originally just her attendant and then, like, got upgraded to be her son at some point. Anyway, this tale is about a beautiful mortal princess, yep, named Psyche, and fell in love with Eros, the god of love. You know, the cherubs. Or, uh, I forget, because, like, uh, Cupid, yeah. And the son of Aphrodite, yep. Ah, but let's see. Great fairy training. I need to read this because I forgot to read it before. Also, I could have probably seen it. I forget if, like, uh, Hestu was covered up or not. Like, ah, it's a mystery to everybody. Or if it was just there and I didn't notice it. It was probably there and I just didn't notice it. For I am fool. After some discussion, the great fairies agreed to start training. It'd be pretty good if they could gather enough rupees without relying on the generosity of others. <laughs> the great fairies become bandits. Realize crime does pay if you're basically a god. Innkeeper's request. I'd say that completely weirdly. Innkeeper's request. The inn's proprietor is troubled by monster outposts to the west of town. The proprietor is expecting an important guest soon and asks that the outposts be captured quickly. And it's time limited. Let's see. And what level do they ask for this? Level 25 recommended. Let's try Daruk. I think Daruk would be good. Let's go, Daruk. Let's capture some outposts very quickly. I also like that we can just control the little guardian guy in the loading screen. I wonder if it has any implications on the lore. Coming. We have 12 minutes to do this. Oh, actually... Yeah, 
Come along, enemies. Need to use as much possibility to do that quest. Get bombed, idiot, by Big Bomb. That took off like half your thing. I know that you're a weak Picabo, but still. My ability. Get smacked, idiot. Double smacked, idiot. my outpost now. You'd think that somebody would have cared about outposts being really close to like an inn. But who knows. Too hot. Well, perfect. That hit a lot of them. It's like he lifted himself up with just his sword for leverage. I keep forgetting that his is kind of set and not as super good. How dare you charge at Daruk? Highly illegal. Can you handle it, big Lionel man? I exploded the lava point and flurry rushed like at the same time. Fear my power. Fear bomb. Get flurry rushed. You're just coming naturally to me today for some reason. <laughs> Why did the rock man get flung the highest into the air out of anybody? Is Daruk's Cryonis rune just a cannon blasting him into the sky? It's like, Jesus. Getting there. Almost to 75. Almost three fourths of the way through. Yes, yes, you vicious presence. We know, we know. Let me quickly there check the is. ancient labs. Oh, we can do that one now. Which uh, increases remote mom damage, which will come in handy. And this is from Pura. Hurling bombs at baddies, so simple yet so effective. And throwing things is always fun. I imagine we could increase your explosive power. <laughs> your remote bombs have been powered up. Throw to your heart's content. Vanquish the darkness. And don't forget to have some fun out there. Booyah. And up next is use Cryonis to freeze 60 enemies to increase Cryonis damage. Sure, sure. And that's vicious ones we need to do to increase our weapon capacity, I believe. And this one is specific relic analysis, which I don't know. Hmm. 
Don't be a stranger. You know what? We haven't done a a vicious monster thing in a while. So let's do a high level one with my high level characters. And in this case, it doesn't really matter that we don't read the description because it's just, ah, this area, vicious monster, come help. Because I believe we read two and they were basically the same. Off we go to defeat the evil monster. The evil monster. The vicious, vicious evil monster. Yep, in the end, this tale, both Eros and Psyche get married and the princess gets reborn into a goddess. Her art depicts a design with butterfly wings. Exactly the name is symbolically connected. Very neat. <laughs> Greek myth is always very interesting. And makes me, like, uh, wonder what Mycenaean... Like, how, like, uh, how many myths from Mycenaean Greece just doesn't exist anymore because they were lost in the Bronze Age collapse. You try to dare kick Link? Much illegal. Cease your illegal tactics. It is still kind of funny that, like, the Greek, like, uh, Hellenistic Greece that we mostly know of when we refer to Greece, or, like, ancient Greece, just like, we're going to fashion ourselves after this other, like, to them, ancient civilization, Mycenaean Greece, which is just funny. You're just spamming that now, aren't you, Mr. Electric Moblin? Be gone, Electric Mob Boy! Get blasted! Cool down! Oh, that's neat, like, uh, kicking off the walls. Actually like, launches Rivali into his flying state. That's extra cool. Get flurry rushed, idiot. I just got here, and you already got flurry rushed. Fool what you are. And now I got hit. Very rude. They get one lucky hit. Goodbye. Guess I'll head this way to the monsters because then I can just like drop this on him. I wonder how, cause like, cause the thing specifically was saying like use Cryonis to freeze, or maybe it was use the ice thing. I'll have to see. No, cause it was for the Cryonis rune. So I wonder what. Oh, I guess I need to do it, like, on water to freeze them, maybe? I'm trying to think of, like, uh... What would come to mind to freeze enemies, because it doesn't seem like any of them are... Like, super-duper intuitive. Get flurry rushed, idiot! Booyah. Not sure how much that would actually do since it's just like a, a slime jelly. I 
And now the perfect thing, I use my special. I'll then freeze you with stasis to do massive damage. My favorite weak point smacking of all. But indeed, vicious beast you are. How dare you run over him. Stop running over. Cool down. Smack in the block. Okay, that, that should not have hit me. Illegal million years. Dang it. Probably should have unlocked my... Oh, and I didn't activate all my arrows. Oh, well. Still extends my chance to smack you. Oh, there we go. Get blasted. Success. And we got five red shoe jelly from that vicious monster. Oh, I forgot to read what funny name they gave it. Like, for a title. Do you know about the tale of Gilgamesh and his quest to seek out immortality? The Epic of Gilgamesh, I know that indeed. If only from mostly, uh... Buh -buh -buh, overly sarcastic productions. If I remember correctly, it's like one... Like, basically the oldest story that we've ever seen written down. And we just keep finding more and more tablets of it, because, like, I think the ongoing theory is that it was essentially a test for, like, uh, inscribers. Like, ah, inscribe, like, a chapter of the Epic of Gilgamesh to get your, like, scribe license. So there's quite a bit that we know, but still some pieces that are missing. Daily Drills Gerudo. Today's assignment is a joint training exercise with Gerudo forces. Spar with the soldiers that are heading your way. Let's see. Who do we want to send out there? Because I believe it's a level 27. Hmm. Let's send an Impa. Probably should, like, level up her weapon one of these days. This looks quite what satisfying. But it's just funny that, like, the Epic of Gilgamesh is just, like, that one thing we keep finding more and more tablets for. But it's also kind of neat that something so old has so much still remaining all this, all these centuries later. If not like millennia, because it's just that old. Kaboom! I'll stab you. Get lasered. Get frogged. Give me your rune. Give me the rune that I gave you. It's kind of a funny mechanic if you think about it. It's like... I just assign them a rune and then just decide I shall now obliterate you. A 
another frog for you. I fly over here. Steal yourself. I am Prepare ready. for your annihilation. Oh yeah, that kind of lined up well. Kind of interesting now that I look at like Impa's abilities, it's almost like she herself is like firing out mini guardian beams in that one combo. Which is just kind of scary if you think about it. Then again, like, uh, what was his name? Maz? The, like, ancient monk from the end of the Champions Ballad did, like, the same thing. Blow up. And now we're Bosa. Oh, there's, like, all the way here. Or no... I have to read the map good, but I'm bad. Surely I can defeat you in the allotted time. Get blasted by clones. I <laughs> take your sword. That's cool that, like, they gave the characters their own, like, rune weaknesses. Nicely done. I am the winner. I'm an army all by myself. should look at the shops more since I have so much money. Again, I'll definitely need to look into how to freeze of Cryonis and I need to remember to blast people with my fire. them grab oh. kind of low on them kind of grab oh we're definitely low oh. on you oh. do, yeah. do, 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 do. Mm. just might as well grab five just because we can but don't really, we probably won't need them a lot but just having a few on hand so we don't need to scramble for them later yeah. It's generally good. Mm. We definitely use a lot of eggs. Mm. And butter. Mm. Definitely don't need bacoblin oh. guts. How do you get bacoblin oh, guts? Sir. I mean, I could buy them, but they're very oh. expensive. Ah. So I'll basically wait until I absolutely ah. need them. Of things because they're like the rarest things. Uh. 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 Since I have the money for it, might as uh. well uh. grab like all these things first. Mm -hmm. How do you even get all of them? It's another question. 
I guess it wouldn't be as hard now because the Guardians aren't going crazy, but still. Hmm. Coliseum Beginner. Well, first things first, I should probably like, come back over here and see. Like, definitely try to get you to like, uh, what is it? Try to get you to level level ten to get another emblem on you. <laughs> Even though it's gonna be very expensive, probably. <laughs> so expensive. Cost like a thousand rupees to go up one level. Like at least you shouldn't be like horrible to level up. Hopefully, it seems that we're close to giving you another like emblem, and it's that big old spiky spike. Hmm, special attack damage, maybe. Regular attack damage. Gives me damage to mid-air enemies and regular attack damage. <laughs> and just absolutely bolsters her weapon damage there, which is very good. get an attack speed, I'm not too sure. We had 11,000 rupees when we roughly began. Let's see. Do I still not have another I still don't have another damage per 100 KOs for Urbosa. Madness. This is madness! Madness. Oh, but apparently we can do this now. Military training camp discount, which would be very, very handy. The instructor at the military training camp is studying how best to fight smaller monsters. Bring him what he needs to develop tactics for pint-sized problems. I bought all the right things. The instructor studied what you brought him and soon developed a groundbreaking approach to battling small monsters. He'll add it to the training options. Huzzah. Ah, Goron drills now. Well, give me the same thing. Yep, assignment, joint training assignment with the Gorons. Question is, who do I want to send in to the place of being burnt? <laughs> Could be funny to send me then. What is the level for this? 21, basically everybody. Literally everybody. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. You know what? Let's send in Mipha. Mipha's kind of fun to play. I run out of delicious. And from YouTube chat, here's more historical trivia. You know what psychology is about? It's made by combining words. Psyche, consciousness, concept of soul, structure of the mind itself. Ology, studies of any subject. And that kind of makes sense. Although that kind of uh, makes me, reminds me of like, uh, like uh, the common meme when it comes to German. Where people are just like, ah, oh, with German, they just like slap words together. Which I guess in a way has like kind of always been 
the way. It's just that when it comes to these older languages, we don't know the, like, root words as well as compared to, like, our native languages. So when you combine words in your native language, it's obvious that you're just slapping two words together. But when, a, like, a, a word is made up by combining two words from another language, it doesn't feel as, like, clunky. Then again, also, like, uh, stapling ology isn't, like, that crazy. Like, herbology, the study of, like, plants and herbs. So, like, out of all the combined words to get a specific definition, the study of, like, the field of study of that thing is a far simpler one compared to some others. But it does make me wonder, like, what other words that we use in our everyday lives are just, like, a combination of other words that we just kind of accept. The evolution of language in general is kind of neat. Let me see. Definitely can't, like, freeze them with mine, I don't think. Unless, let me try again. No, I need to really gather them up to try and hit them with fire. Get flurry rushed, idiot. <laughs> Although this kind of also reminds me, like, uh, in terms of, like, gaming, we've even done that, like, Metroidvania, but that's more like combining, like, it's more like creating parts, like, using parts of a word's, like, names to then combine them into a slang. Because Metroid and Castlevania... It's almost like we're shipping the games together than trying to describe something new. Well, I guess less describe something new and more describe something that's very similar. Only a little time remains, yes I know. I was too busy playing with my food. Be like, ah, I'll burn them alive. Go ahead and do this to try and wipe out a whole lot of them. Over here, do the same thing. I cannot it is done. Oh, yeah. At least I don't need thirty seconds to beat Daruk. How dare you shoulder check me? But sure, surely we can do it. He's rock. Mifa, I won't like it, but I won't hold back. That's kind of sweet. But I mean, she specifically asked to be trained in past cutscenes. Honor her wish, Daruk. Match the stuff, Mifa. Keep on keeping on! And 
now we have lots of Goron Spice. Yes, yes, we know the vile viciousness. The game really wants me to do Colosseum. Well, come you along. We shall Colosseum with Ravali, because he is the boy. And here's another language trivia. I'm not sure if I remember correctly anyway. The word crystal in Latin or Greek translates to ice. I could kind of see that. Maybe. Because sometimes... Like, the evolution of words can just, like, go along. and So I could see somebody using, like, ah, this looks like crystal to describe ice. And then somebody who, like, isn't a native speaker of that one language would be like, ah, so this is called that. I could see that. Get bombed. Again, that's kind of like what happened with, uh, like, settlers of the New World talking to the natives. And be like, what is this, specifically? And then, like, it just gets mixed up in translation, where they think... Ah, this word means that thing when it's just like completely not. Language is interesting. And from me, Twitch chat, howdy, how are we doing today? I am doing good. Earlier, I started writing a potential script for a Breath of the Wild review video. Because I really do want to do like more edited content on YouTube. I just need to remember to actually make it happen. Elsewise, I just need to do more writing, more drawing, but Age of Calamity is still very fun. Very, very fun. I'm also debating on if I want to not immediately go into Tears of the Kingdom after I beat Age of Calamity and instead go and play like Ocarina of Time and maybe Majora's Mask. Mostly because those games are very, like much, much shorter compared to like Tears of the Kingdom. So it all depends on my mood after I beat Age of Calamity. <laughs> writing, writing indeed. One thing I've been trying to do is to set aside like an hour later in the day, usually after my stream time, to try and uh, dedicate that time to writing, whether it be my stories or maybe a script. Just like set aside a time to actually do things. From YouTube chat, you know, maybe the word has something with molecular activity itself. Water is only liquid when it's warm movement and water freezes in, into ice when it's cold, solidly into crystal structure. Maybe, but I doubt it, mostly because I don't think that, like, ancient Latin or ancient Greek people would have the real capability to observe water, like, freezing into crystal structures, but maybe. Perhaps. Because, like, I do know that, like, uh, there was a like Greek or Greek adjacent like philosopher who was who actually theorized the concept of the molecule 
where he's just like, what if there was a universal building block upon all reality? And people are like, you fool, that's not how it works at all. Which is kind of funny. From Twitch chat. Uh, I mean to start taking a bit of time to do something I enjoy, at least start with 30 minutes or something like that. That's one thing I definitely need to do more of. Or else I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants, and that's not proper. <laughs> also, media of language is the way we construct the meaning, since it's made from how we capture the world. That's also true. A lot of words are kind of... Like, uh... I'm trying to think of the word. Words are kind of... Substituted and used outside of their original meanings. <laughs> language is just weird and odd. <laughs> Them Greeks had too much time. Had a lot of time for thinking, didn't they? Leave it to me. Let's send Daruk in for ice training. Sent him into the cold. And I forgot to read the battle description for the Colosseum. I'll have to go do that. I keep forgetting, even like the, even if there are very, very basic battle descriptions, sometimes it's kind of interesting. Sometimes they're just like, ah, go train your ice resistance. Other times they're like, here is an actual, like, grander premise to it. Daruk the Fearless Goron Champion. Hey, that's me. How dare you hit me. Multi-illegal. So close. <laughs> so close. He's basically as big as a moblin. Oh, more of a peer. Very illegal. Quit poking. That's literally all they're doing, is using their poke attack. And there was a third one? Or did he spawn in? timing. I don't believe I have an ice talus to deal with, or like a frozen talus to deal with, so definitely need to be careful against these guys. Quit your poke attack, very illegal. Now be gone, Ice Moblin. Go ahead and use that. Be gone, Ice Talus. No one loves you. Not even your own tiny taluses. I don't even know what really happened there. My own constructs were used against me. Oh, I don't have any fire left, but I do have that. Get bombed. Two on this. 
I swear, Daruk is like the most crazy and nuts fly around character, it feels like. Say goodnight, Talus. You get exploded. <laughs> Score one for the great Daruk. Oh, we got Amber and Sapphire. Huzzah. Still no idea what Robbie's maintenance oil even goes to. I still don't know exactly what the use cryonis to freeze means, unless it is specifically go to a place that has water, get enemies into the water, and then use cryonis, but that seems very specific. Oh, and that was going to come down here for the read. A series of battles against monsters be preserved. I just bear. My, the words could not pass by my tongue. Everything went bleg. A series of battles against monsters. Be sure to prepare yourself before undertaking this challenge. Indeed, indeed. Guess we'll go and do this one up here, Mountain Rescue, and then we'll move on with the story. Some soldiers have met with misfortune in the snowy mountains. Rescue them before they freeze and lead them to safety. Level 25 recommended. Let's see. All right. Could have her bow son Zelda go in. Because why not? We Young. I feel the same. You know, I just realized from from this little tip menu, I don't think I've used Zelda's, like, unique action at all. I keep forgetting that they exist. But yeah, interactive objects created by the Sheikah Slate with the right timing, this can be a powerful attack. At least that specifically. Alright, we'll send you to them while Zelda goes up here. Let's see, do we have any fire? We still don't have any fire. Why, that's bullshit? Fuck off. I was in the middle of doing my shenanigans. How dare get run over by a <laughs> book heart. Monster. Okay, good. Uh, for a moment, there was like, are you not considered rescued? <laughs> Oh, of course you run into the stone talus and I don't have any flames. Through the fire and the flames, we suffer and die. Okay, you have me in a corner, let me out please. You jerk. Double jerk. Especially when I have no magic. Okay, 
I feel like some of my attacks there should be hitting the weak point. There we go, Flurry Rush. Thank you for keep doing that. Bomb. Good ride, just uh, doing some damage to you. Be gone! How do you just spawn rocks outside of yourself? Like smashing into the ground to like dig up like pieces back into you, sure. Or just spawning out into the ether? It's crazy. Consider yourself saved. Do you want me to bomb you? Get bombed, idiot. Destruction. And Zelda down there. Go ahead and use a special ability. Well, that is all what I meant. Darn. I'm double fool. Oh, perfect timing. Though I was fool, it worked out. Oblivion for you, Ice Boy. This is definitely why I need to use, like, other characters more. Because I can't just do my general combos against, like, Taluses, and I have to be like, oh no, <laughs> will I actually be able to be out and get out of this? And that's where the climber bandana was for some reason. It was out in the frozen wastes. I guess just like one of the captains just found it and like, hey, we can give this to Link. He'll love it. Game wants me to do anti-lightning training, but we shall do that later, for we have... Well, first we'll go down here for these upgrades, and then... Story! Because we've been going for like an hour and a half without story! The treasure hunters lurking in the ruins seem quite adept at fighting monsters. If Link gives them something to make exploring easier, they might be persuaded to teach him their ways. <laughs> Among the treasure hunters was a Claymore export... Export? Yeah. Among the treasure hunters was a claimer expert. I, my brain is just going bleg right now, and I don't know why. Remember to stay hydrated so you don't end up with fried brain, like that one drug commercial. Among the treasure hunters was a claymore expert. As thanks for supplies, he gave Link a master class on using two-handed weapons. Followers of the Great Fairies have decided to construct a road that spans all the way from Gerudo Town to the Great Fairy Fountain. Help the workers keep cool in the scorching desert sun. Ah, double hearts. A rather impressive feat. No. Even the staggering heat of Gerudo Desert, the workers could stay cool as they constructed the road. 
Though much work remains, they are on track to complete the project in good time. It's been up here. Destroy the Yiga clan. But we'll probably have to level up some people so that they don't get annihilated. Because I believe that was, excuse me, level 33, I believe. Recommended level. Then let's see. Well, first, first, let's see, like, what characters were forced to take her. Nope, it's freely whoever I want. It's running a story. I could just take Ravali and Link like I always do. When it comes to taking on the story bit, because it will be a longer one. Right now, like, my top four characters, I guess, are Link, Ravali, Daruk, and Mifa. I think I'll just stay with Ravali and Link. You have a lot to look forward to. You might... mm. I suppose you can have a go. <laughs> you call this one surprising. Mm -hmm. Let us go. Destroy them. Destroy the Yiga. They won't know what hit them, except pr they probably will. Now that the network of Sheikah Towers had been restored in full, the Sheikah Slate bestowed upon Zelda's party detailed knowledge of all Hyrule. Empowered All the, the knowledge trove from the iPad. Hura began running calculations to locate monster camps and the Yiga clan hideout. In hopes of heading off an assault on Hyrule Castle Ooh. before it could begin, Urbosa and Divine Beast Var Naboris were sent on a mission to root out the king's enemies. Try just obliterate them with the <laughs> with not Var Naboris. So R, call down lightning strike, and then a thunderstorm of ZR. Now we'll finally have controlled all of them well, with this. It's time. You and I must now ride into battle without the luxury of training. Then I mean, did any of you get training in the previous timeline? Experience is the best teacher. The way it's designed, it's like it has a creepy smile. Especially when it lights up. Well, let's go electrocute the Yiga clan. Fear the giant camel. It comes to destroy you all with smiles. Destroy the Yiga clan. Like if this is its power, I am honestly surprised. Uh, you cease. Cease your existence. Oh, because I probably don't have, uh... I tried to summon a thunderstorm. I don't even know what's attacking me. Yeah, it's like spamming's probably not a good idea. Just reshape the land. What? Oh! Is that a Melduga? Why is it coming out to fight? How dare. Must have been drawn by all the noise. Best not to linger. Why not linger? Just 
blast it. Why have mercy for Melduga when we can just destroy? We make quite a pair. Now to show them all the will of the Gerudo. Strike that Melduga out of the sky! Let's see, because there's like more monsters over here we've yet to annihilate, and they deserve annihilation. No mercy for the monsters. We should be near the hideout now. Prepare to fight for your lives, Yiga. I wonder what it like uh, when it comes to like Chica and then the Yiga. If there's any like Japanese linguistics at play there. Or like wordplay or anything. I could see it being possible. Explode! Very impressive that they have like sword masters who are capable of launching attacks against a divine beast. This is our chance. Let's charge and then smash our way through. Oh! Make way, Yiga. I'm here to destroy. Good. With that done, we can push forward to their hideout. And considering that, like, all of those structures were not there in normal Breath of the Wild, that almost implies that this happened. There weren't giant gates blocking Using off the way. Using insights, Urbosa easily accomplished her mission. Thus... Where Zelda and the others witness to the immense capability of the Sheikah Towers. Scouting power. It helps you win war. The Var Naboris mission cleared a path directly to the Yiga clan hideout. Looking to exploit this advantage, the champions moved in to strike at once. And we know the inside of the Yiga clan hideout because of the Yiga clan missions. Our scouts located critical facilities within the hideout. We can topple the Yiga clan. Probably if we like take them out and stuff. I need to read fast. It'll be best to rendezvous with the hidden scouts, but for now let's continue our advance. The Divine Beast completely raised the entrance. Incredible. I didn't even blast like that. Von Naboris is powerful, yes, but now we have to push forward without its help. Make way. Be still. How about you prepare to die? Get blasted. <laughs> Von de Boris is casually ramming the Yiga barricades. It does also fit like Orbosa as well, while the others have like their own 
like ways of doing things. The giant camel is just like, I'm going to destroy everything. Interesting, it seems like this place is, like, has more excavated around. And I don't have any fire, so I can't get in. Let's see. Guess we just go this way. <laughs> Where Lincoln or Bosa were already going. Yeah, get rid of that. And activate this here Korok. It's been a bit since we grabbed one. Hello, monsters. Devious, they managed to tame such monsters. I do not know how they, probably. Actually, there's water in here, so that could lead me to my testing. And to the water. I want to test things. Come on, into the water. I don't have a time limit. Cool down. So it is indeed specifically water. You need water for with cryonis to freeze them. Seems a tad bit like uh like uh adds a bit more of a burden onto completing that mission, but now I have my answer. Which is the most important thing. I'll just have them follow each other. Freeze! I do like that Urbosa is also joining us on our raid. Get smashed, Moblin! chest over here from your chat also hey do i remember this right like uh lightning and electricity are partly made of plasma i think so maybe it roughly ling rings a bell but i could be just completely wrong <laughs> i don't remember these traps and again i guess this place is much bigger than i Remember? In fact, I want to quickly go back because, darn, I got trapped. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Just wanted to triple make sure. Your trap did not deter me, you fools. I just wanted to make sure both my playable characters got through the trap. Can we dive on through? Let me quickly... Bring that down. That just feels like it would be a trap for Link. As he gets closer, they just <laughs> throw down a giant bomb. The pile is full of mighty bananas. How many mighty bananas am I going to get in here? The ultimate reward, bananas. Hands off our supplies, you dirty do-gooders! Your bananas are mine. Mine bananas. So I could just like, 
grind <laughs> this mission <laughs> for bananas if I wanted to. Take this. Try me. <laughs> Try me. This feels like a trap. Yeah, it's not really a trap. <laughs> they just waited to spawn in. Why do they just have bombs lying around? Doesn't seem very healthy. Monster bars. Apparently not this way. Well, now I had a weird, just like random story idea come to my head. What if there was like a Breath of the Wild story where all the champions like died, but like they were reborn as like monk from the Calamity, like Moblins, Lizolfos, stuff like that. And like, how do we save the world while everyone thinking that we're monsters? Because we are monsters. No idea how good a story like that could be, but could be interesting. The weapon cache has been captured. We must keep up the pace. So I've... So this is just where they keep their masks, their bows, their swords, their giant metal balls for their, like, uh, main <laughs> big bad super attack. Huh. Is this just, like, another big hole, or did the big hole used to be more furnished and underground? Oh, because I'm flying, that doesn't affect me. Haha. <laughs> oh, neat. Now this opens up back around. From YouTube chat, maybe everyday myth that's either true or false. That makes me, uh, reminds me of a bit from, uh. Bubba Buff. From. Uh, I'm trying to think. My brain is just fried. But from. Uh, overly sarcastic productions where Red went on a small tirade because there was like, ah, oh, there's this, uh, like so many fake myths that are just like spawn out of the ether. Like a time traveling, like bullfish thing. Because apparently some people are like, oh, I can just claim this to be like a legitimate legend myth. Nobody cares about actual things, and that's how you get cytogenesis. Because, like, I can kind of understand, like, uh... Wanting to make up your own Greek myth. But, like, why not just, like, actually put out there, yeah, this is a Greek myth that I made up. Because that could still be cool. Or, like, this is a story I made inspired by Greek myth to try and kind of be like a Greek myth. Rather than just be like, I'm going to put this out there and pretend it is a Greek myth, which is just dumb. Cool down. Indeed, cold. I'll just keep dropping these to freeze these guys. Since they're big ol' enemies. Just offering themselves up to be frozen.
And then not to mention, like, all of the, like, appropriated, like, native myths that people either, like, kind of downplay some myths or, like, lump a bunch of myths together when they aren't really. Or even just whole cloth make up entire myths and be like, yeah, this is a true native myth. The world is just full of crazy, ain't it? She let herself be ensnared in their web. Sounds like a regless one. I assume she's talking about her scout. We'd better break her out quickly. She may have useful information. Ah, I guess somebody else got caught as well. We get to go see that. Like a prisoner cell that we actually see in the main Breath of the Wild game. Be hilarious if it was like her the one that got caught like ancestor like descendant like ancestor Guess we want to go this way be gone bacoblins I do like that Rivali is just kind of immune to this type of floor trap. It just is very funny. Oh, the explosion caused an explosion over here. Not sure if that's intentional or not, but funny all the same. How dare you shoot me out of the sky when I don't even see the arrow fly and destroy me. Yep, this is indeed the original, like, location. Just kind of expanded. Now, those arrows I did see coming. Juggle these fools. Although I do find it funny that this place still feels a bit larger than it originally was in Breath of the Wild. Like, it, not even just like, oh, there are extra rooms, but like, the fact that like, the rooms themselves feel like they got scaled up just slightly. Oh, so they didn't keep her locked in here. Instead, there is a Korok. I can't believe they would imprison such a poor thing like a Korok. Big illegalness. Well, I thought I can't just jump down from here, but okay. Maybe I could have if I actually stood on the stone and not the, like, little bridge that they made. Cool down indeed, ram into this and die. Almost. I almost had you. Electric moblin. Get flurry rushed, idiot. Get another victory. Let's see. We just fly along. Always open boxes, they're free loot. Hello, Scout. Tell me what happened. 
I discovered a secret door, but as soon as I got my hands on the key to it, they ambushed me. What? How dare you scream what in my ear? Illegal, five million years. <laughs> There's the guard. <laughs> Wipe him out. Kill him. You're free. Count yourself lucky, Vi. <laughs> Thank you. Here is where to find the hidden door. The hidden door is opened. <laughs> now we sever the head of the snake. Storm in. A Gerudo warrior does not give in. Cool down. I think not. You go no further. Watch and learn. But what if I want to go further? You stand a chance. You can't tell me to not go further. I can do what I want, Suga. Oh, dang it. Be still. Fine. Suffer many arrows. Um, this seems new. Very new. He is very angry. Suga. I don't have the bombs. I can use this. But now I do. But oh, dang it. He is using all his skills very meanly. It seems they burst at me. Move it. I haven't a moment to lose in balancing the scales. Uh, that was close. Now then, let's hurry. Hurry where? Ah, the deepest level. Well, everyone seems gone. So we can all move along. Have all my allies help me. Take on the enemies. Oh, a ruby. Very nice. And a Korok, just out of nowhere. Go. Huh. Figures. And then to the true big hole. <laughs> Master Koga, <laughs> no longer sn napping. <laughs> He's actually here to fight us. What you gain. Well, I don't mind. Kind of funny to imagine, you know like hmm? anybody from the champions just letting him because do this. Your about to get cut. And I'm the shears. Snip, snip. It's like he practiced this. Hey. Yes. <laughs> what a relief it will be. Today, right now, in fact, the stupendous chief of the Yiga clan, Master Koga, is gonna kill you all today. The ultimate fate, dying to death. Take this, Koga. I will take your orb. 
smack it against you. You barged into my napping spot sans invite. I have no choice but to destroy you. Got smacked straight into the ground. Ah, what a dirty trick! Keep fighting, let us turn Koga's napping spot into his resting place. Oh, that's just rude. I mean, we apparently did that in the last game. Or I guess the the future game. Master Koga, I am at your side. Suga here to save his master from death. Finally, you bum! What took you so long? Watch and learn. Weakened though he is, that one may pose a threat. Stay on guard. I'll go ahead and take care of Suga. I think it might be amusing. Ow. I'm getting all the flurry rushes, but none of them on the Suga. Well, and the music that's playing is actually really cool. I only just noticed it now. Master Koga, I am mortified. No, no, no! Keep it together, Suga! Submit, Koga. It's over. From that angle, he would have been thrown into the pit again. Oh, no, it's not. I'm gonna dazzle you with my next move, an ancient technique I call... Ready to win! Master Koga's a funny little bean. And we got some topaz and amber. And the big meats. Lots of big meats. Ah, now we know how to make special attack charge rate from creamy meat soup. And shikarun damage plus 35%. Nice. Veggie rice balls. We completed... Oh, we just completed our cryonis. Very nice. Prophecy man! <laughs> you missed the part where we get walloped! I am afraid we cannot overlook this failure. Can't do it! Seer. <laughs> <laughs> Koga's little interjection. Can't, Can't do it! All. Even this defeat. Huh? As you well know. If you decided to turn against me, you would make an enemy of Calamity Ganon. Using their faith against them, rude little Aster Man. So you see then. Good. We will need each other's help if we are to achieve our goal. In the name of Calamity Ganon, you and I are bound. Let us turn our eyes to the task before us, yes. You're a creepy little man, Aster. I wonder if he's based off of anybody from previous Zelda games. Because I think there's been towers. other <laughs> evil they are rather useful, I admit. magicians. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, but just wait. There's one more thing I gotta show ya. What'd you discover? The, the picture feature? Oh! <laughs> Now they know teleportation. All this other time they didn't, apparently. And it can take multiple people. Pura, a little warning would have been nice. Sorry, sorry. Or is that just leading up to the reveal? Look, is this technology amazing or what? It's actually funny because like the towers and the teleportation were like some of the first things you discover in Breath of the Wild. Here it took them forever. Lots of new researchers on my team, too. 
won't be easy, but we're not gonna let that stop us, eh? <laughs> I know that you won't. <laughs> and that just made Zelda go, but what if I fail? What if I, I, I fail us all? You, but now... Anyway, I'm glad for your help, Kura. I really like the story of this game. It's just so very neat. Very, very cool. I just love that we actually get more time with the characters. Ah, a new heart. A new icon entirely. Okie doke. <laughs> when courage fails! Well, that's ominous. It's very ominous. But what are these new icons? The Trial of the Mighty Foe. Qualify for Trial of Monk Maz Koshia. The Ballad of the Champions guy, the Champions Ballad guy. Well, I guess he's just like, hmm, there is a lot of stuff up above happening. Let's do some testing early. Although it'd be hilarious if Link got the bite of the motorcycle as a weapon. Well, let's see, what do I need? Hinox and Lionel trophies. I guess I'll mark that. And down here, it requires Amber and Topaz. I'll mark that. But we can do this one. The Trial of Monsters. As words written in light appear before your eyes, a voice from nowhere relates the same. Only those who pass through the door of the Trial of Monsters may seek our power. Requiring Bacoblin, Lazalfos, Wizrobin, Moblin. <laughs> For once, when you offered the materials, the words of light changed. The voice said, You have done well to pass through the door of the Trial of Monsters. Now we grant you part of our power. From YouTube chat, did you read my comments about the 10% brain power myth? Not sure if it was this, like, stream or a past one, but I think you mentioned it before. But I do wonder where it came from. It is kind of funny. It does kind of have that kind of, uh, mystical, ooh. What would humanity be possible if we could use more than 10%? But, yeah, it's just like... Your brain's just functional, and it, it's, it'd be like saying you only use a certain percentage of your muscles when it's just more like, nah, your muscles just know their limits. It is, it'd be an interesting thing to know, like, How where that, that myth-like originated. Uh. Uh. And, like, why? Uh. Just be, it's like, it's a, such a specific and odd, like, myth to arise. <laughs> Typical pseudoscience, indeed. It's kind of like, it reminds me of all of the, uh, YouTube shorts and TikToks by the YouTuber Mini Minuteman, who, uh, does a bunch of, like, archaeological and historical, like, pseudoscience debunking. And, like, one of the things that he constantly rags on are all of the people like, this looks like a thing. And it's just like, just because it looks like a thing does not mean it's actually that thing. And people just keep doing it. This looks like a pyramid. Yeah, because it's a mountain, dipshit. Sometimes things form oddly. The Trial of Stones. As words written in light appear before your eyes, a voice from nowhere relates the same. Only those who pass through the door of the Trial of Stones may seek our power. And it took all my diamonds. When you offered the materials, the words of light changed. The voice said, 
You have done well to pass through the door of the Trial of Stones. Now we grant you a part of our power. And we specifically need Lionel and Henox trophies. But let's see what this is. Master Monster Roasts. You've seen Bacoblins cooking many times from afar. They roast meat to succulent perfection. How? Learn their technique by getting much closer. Spying quietly isn't really an option. Increase slots for cooking? Yeah! Slots for cooking? You're of a goodness. By getting so close to Bacoblins, you learn the secrets of exquisite roasting. Prep the meat, adjust the heat. There's so much to know about cooking, so learn more each day. So now we can cook two per diddly D. Apparently game wants me to do a feast for whiz robes. Eh. Hmm, anti-lightning training has a henox. Oh, what's down here? Earn recipe for carrot stew. A girl you met in travels is homesick for Kakriko village. Concoct a new dish that will remind her of home. After trial and error, you came up with a recipe for carrot stew. Kakariko Village loves its carrots, and so did the girl. She's homesick no longer, and you have a new recipe. Charges special per enemy KO. That's kind of neat. Oh, and Lineru gives us a bunch of things. Mifa bonus hearts. To celebrate Mifa's appointment as a champion, a grand festival is being held in Zora's domain. Collect some luminous stones to add a splash of color to the proceedings. I love the flavor text for all of these. In the light of many luminous stones, Mifa herself seemed to glow. When the festival had reached a close, she apparently took one as a memento and used it to adorn her living quarters. That's just adorable. But we definitely want to find one that's like Hinox and Lionel. There's Anti-Flame. Ooh, Daruk bonus hearts. The Gorons want to offer Goron-style massages as an amenity for the miners upon Death Mountain. Help amass funds to build a massage parlor to soothe the workers' stiff shoulders. I can feel the, power. the Goron City Massage Parlor opened for business. The first client to get a massage was the great Daruk himself. With his muscles loosened up, he was sure to fight even better. Oh, we can't do that because we ran out. Ooh, but the special gauge. A new event called the Gut Check Challenge has been set up at the famed Gut Check Rock. Lord Daruk will take the first climb. Give him a gift to help him scale the rock more quickly. Oh, but that takes my Lionel trophy. I can't do that. Let's see. We need Hinox. Oh, interesting that, like, story ones don't give you monster information. Interesting. So this one has a Lionel. Cross the Hebra Mountains. It's low level. Let's throw someone in here to do it. Let's see. What do I want to throw in? I guess uh, it's against a Lionel, though, so... I guess I'll do Daruk. <laughs> and we can just boost our experience gains beyond measure! Because I don't really need all that much else. And again, I think there's a rupee cap for most, like, things. And since this is low level, Daruk's pretty high level, comparatively. We should be able to rush through, beat up the Lionel. Because I don't know which missions have, like, multiple Lionels. Oh yeah, we definitely want to get rid of you so we don't get harassed like we did the first time. Yeah. 
say goodbye. You can't stop this boulder from rolling. That is not the Daruk voice I usually do. It's more like this one. Because I'm the Lord Daruk, and I'm going to do my best. Sometimes voices just get away from you. That ran out. Where does he pull, like, m magma rocks from? Just out here. In the frozen lands. And get stasis, idiot. I used my special, I'm a fool. <laughs> Foolish Wizrobe, you will be annihilated. Get rocked. Oh yeah, nothing to. We fly into the sky. I wonder if each how each hang glider does seem to be actually personalized. Because I think that was like the Goron symbol. Actually on the top of it. That's super cool. I love little details like that. We almost single did it. How dare you run over Daruk. Very illegal, wrong thing entirely. Get smacked, Lino. I like that I can just whip out my Sheikah powers, like, mid-combo. It's always one hit away. How dare you be very mean. Not exactly, I think it wanted me to use the ice, and I just, like, once again, just hooked on bombs. It's like my Breath of the Wild playthrough all over again. Bombs, bombs, bombs. Nothing but bombs. Lamp oil. Rope. Bombs. <laughs> Score one for the Great Daruk. And from YouTube chat, our real brain power percentage is a full 100% and works on every necessary functions in our psyche itself, such like memories, receive senses, feel every emotion, have thoughts and dreams, creative things. I wonder how that, like, interacts with, like, uh, physical brain damage, like, uh, what was that guy's name? Uh, I forget his first name, like, Gage, who got a railroad spike blasted through his frontal lobe, and that altered his personality. And then I thought I also heard that, like, uh... There was one person that suffered, like, a kind of physical brain damage, but then their brain wired different connections to compensate for those issues. Just overall, the brain is a very, very interesting thing. The messenger's escort might be quick for a Hinox. But overall, the brain is a very interesting thing. I guess we'll just quickly do this again for... Lionel, then we'll go down, do probably the messenger escort for Hinox, and see what th the scary monk man has to say <laughs> once we finish everything.
do da da do do da do But overall, just like science, this is very cool. And people need to be like, just I wish there was like less people that were just conveniently skeptical of science. Like on some level, sure, because like the guy that spouted out anti-vax like rhetoric was actually a doctor to begin with. But still, science is very important. But then all the rich capitalists of the world are very conveniently like to ignore science in terms for their profits. Like when a panel of tobacco company CEOs all like went up on a like court panel and be like, yeah, sure. Smoking doesn't cause cancer when they literally knew that it did. The world is just very, very, very murky sometimes. I'm coming for you, Wizrobe. You cannot escape this annihilation. Get bombed, idiot. I no idea how I even did that. I think I wall bounced off of the pillar I created with my bombs. I swear, Daruk is the most acrobatic out of all of the characters. Yep. Even said, yep, he agrees. I ran over me again. Illegal. Get bombed. I actually used it properly this time. Flurry rush time. I have to be careful with the Cryonis, because he just goes frickin' flying into the sky. Usually outside of, like, actually dealing damage range. <laughs> By using a rune, I kind of buffered my invincibility. Flurry rush instead! Aha! Right as my rune was about to... Restore as well. And that should be the last Lionel trophy we need. Now I just need to take on one. Yeah, there it is. Probably. There it is. I like that each one each one of the reports actually has their own different little marker on the actual graphic. That's nice. From YouTube chat. You know, people are wondering what's after death, what will happen to someone else's consciousness when the brain itself dies. That's very existential. There's just like no real way of knowing. Only theorizing. Yeah, let's just do Link. I don't think we've actually played Link all that much. Let's go kill a Hinox. Still love the music in this game. It's just so good.
We go to fight the Hinox. We go to kill him dead. We go to basically just say, yeah, we did it. Get frozen, idiot. The next, like, big bunch of enemies will have to try and use the firepower. Get obliterated, idiots. You bacoblin fools. Dang it, I only hit one. There we go, I still got it anyway. Booyah! Big on, Lizalfos. Oh, interesting. I guess I have a move that can kind of guard break the enemy a bit. Be gone. Guy, come along. I'm so fast. Why are you not as fast as me? Be frozen, fool. Freeze in all of time. Get broken. Get annihilated. And since you're the last thing alive, I can just use this with impunity. Get frozen while you do a silly little dance. And yet you still jiggle when I hit you. It means you are aware through the pain. Suffer. Of a giant Hinox. I kill you. Although, imagine if there were tiny Hinoxes. That would almost be as terrifying. Just a swarm of tiny Hinoxes coming to kill you. You kill a big one, it just breaks apart into a bunch of tiny Hinoxes. I do believe we should have enough. Yep. As words written in light appear before your eyes, a voice from nowhere relates the same. Only those who pass through the door of the trial of the mighty foe may seek our power. Take all my trophies. You did well. When you offered the materials, the words of light changed. The voice said, you have done well to pass through the door of the trial of the mighty foe. Now we grant you part of our power. And that unlocks an entire thing. Trial of the Ancients. Time limited, but we get a diamond. Well, I guess since it's going to be a big, big thing, let's see. Movement speed. <sighs> Let's go for more damage, since it's gonna be a boss fight. Well, I can only assume, since it's 
from Maz. There was a single enemy picture. Damn, I, my memory is already shot. I don't even know if I read the, the mission description. You have to prove in your to possess the power of a true hero. Yep, it's you. In the name of the goddess Hylia. I offer this trial. I won't have to defeat him in three minutes. It's time to test your worth, hero. Well, if you summoned a hammer? And clones. With spears and a tiny sword. I'll show you who's a hero. Hmm, well fought. Get smacked. I, I do like that it lasts enough, like long enough that I can actually hit him with it. Because I don't want to wait too long. So, uh, very kind of the game to have a mercy period. Just like the mini guardians of these trials, I smack you when you spin at me. Oh, he go big. He's like permanently big. I am pleased. Freeze. Well, that's not good. We're almost a minute down. Or like one minute left. Yeah. Take this, Cosco Moscosia. Exemplary. You have proven your competence. I will lend you my power. May the goddess protect you. So like what? Are you going to give me the bike? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Botor. The ultimate weapon. Boat. And we got more of the star fragments and diamond. Well, considering we actually fought him, he'll probably be a playable character. What am I saying? Just like the fairies. I am the fool. Monk Mars Koshia, conduit of the goddess. A powerful Sheikah monk from 10,000 years past. He is one of the few who received a revelation from the goddess Hylia. He has awaited the chosen hero's arrival within the Shrine of Trials. And now he's come to fight on our behalf. You know, like I said, he should have in the actual game. <laughs> I told you. I told you. We can get bonus hearts. It's happening again. Strands of light coalesce into words, forming a cryptic message. You who have conquered another worldly trial present proof of your triumph and a gift from the snow. This is Hyrule. I think I heard him say Hyrule. It's hard to tell if that filter on him. You offered up the material and the words of light changed. You have done well to overcome the trial. We bestow blessings upon this sacred land. Happening again, you have conquered the otherworldly troppers in proof of triumph and a gift from the earth. And it gives us bonus hearts. Hmm, so let's look at like maybe another one. It's a bonus combo. Bonus combo. 
Special gauge, that's what I'm looking for. You have conquered the otherworldly troppers in proof of your triumph and a token of endurance. To mark your achievement, we bestow strength upon your companions. Who is apparently the monk. Does this mean that <laughs> Koshia isn't actually the one sending out these messages? And it's somebody else. Maybe it's Hylia herself. Give proof of your triumph. Done well. Mark achievement will bestow upon you the gift of skill. <laughs> Unique action. Become massive. Enlarge. Present proof of triumph and a token of resilience. Done well to overcome trial. Mark your achievement will bestow upon you the gift of protection. Even though these are like the most samey, it is nice that these are also still like semi unique. And I guess we'll get the bonus hearts. Gift of the Earth. And we bestow blessings upon this abundant land. Oh, and Pharon levels up. Huzzah. Oh, and we missed one here. More bonus hearts. Present proof of your triumph and a gift from the trees. I'm the Lorax, and I speak for the trees. We bestow blessings upon this beautiful land. For almost a reason, I almost said bountiful. Let's see, what's this one do? More bonus hearts. But I guess we're kind of nearing the end. First, let's see what the why the game is like. Hey, do this one. Ah, Monk's Training, since we just got him playing. Sure. We'll save that till next time, because I actually want to do Pursue the Yiga Clan, pilot the Divine Beast Vana Boris instead. We're going to lightning people to death. get to pilot the Devon Beast. I do wonder how many levels there are for the Divine Beasts. Probably not many, considering that they're just like, uh, like probably the same locations again and again, but still. It is quite impressive that the Blade Masters are just able to tank so much damage. Die already. Prepare to be annihilated. Annihilation upon the Yiga Clan. Perfect. More enemies appear for me to destroy. You dare stand against us? Varna, Boris, and I will punish your arrogance. Go ahead and smash up any stragglers. You just wander in and... Prepare for blast. <laughs> Did one of the moblins pick up, like, just a normal bacoblin and yeet him at me? I think they did. Prepare for annihilation. Annihilation falls upon you. You know what? I think this is the perfect time for this. Just utter annihilation. Ah, 
How does it feel to suffer? Now you stop that, Blade Masters. Again, quite impressive that they've managed to create swordsmen so powerful that they can just take on a divine beast ever so slightly. Let's see if we can hit the ones behind us. Yeah, it does not seem like we could. One downside to the charge. It's not a big slam like the other ones. Again, it just feels like there are a ton more Yiga <laughs> in the ancient past. Well, a hundred years ago. I guess the Calamity would have wiped out a ton of Yiga as well. While the monsters are working with the Yiga in this timeline, it could be because of Aster. <laughs> Oh, and then we actually unlocked a new mission mission. Chief of the Dunes battle. Neat. But I do believe that that shall be it for now. Oh, actually, before we do, we should check out the it's you. Yes. here, because we have a few that we can turn in. I forgot to read that. I'm a fool. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Heat management is the con cornerstone of baking. By studying fire rods, I was able to perfect the apple baking process. They're now more nutritious and delicious than ever. The amount of health restored by baked apples has increased. And then all the increase the duration of rod effects. Might not be bad. The battle implications of Cryonis are fascinating. Throwing ice at enemies, freezing foes in water, and so on. Intrigued? Perhaps you could put a bit of field research for me. Not bad. The Cryonis rune has been powered up. <laughs> Wonderful. Now I can use this to make lots of ice for my tasty noble pursuits. Oh, and help with win the battle against the Calamity and all that. Increase damage. And next we have to do that. I'll definitely do more vicious monsters in my own time so that we can get along get along i guess we'll put that down just because we can let's see and then i guess i'll also mark i'll just mark them all these three the most important don't be a stranger But, I do believe that that will be it for now. We invaded the Yiga clan, kicked Suga and Koga in the rear, walloped them good, and unlocked the ancient monk. I will definitely save uh, my plane as him for next stream and not use him in my off-stream grinding. But... Yeah, still loving this game. Still so good. The music, the gameplay, the fact that, like, this looks so much like Breath of the Wild, despite being, like, completely different in gameplay. And, like, I wouldn't even be surprised if it is completely... Well, it has to be a different engine, because I would assume that... Breath of the Wild would be made on the specified engine for Breath of the Wild because that's just how Nintendo rolls sometimes. Whereas this was made by Koei Tecmo, and so this would be just more plopping it into their Dynasty Warriors engine and uh, modifying it to use, like, aspects like the rods and stuff or just, like, programming it to have those effects and be like, ah, look, it's the rods. Programming in general is kind of interesting. Because it's not really like, oh, how do I do this? So much as like, how do I use coding magic to get that kind of result, even if it isn't literally that? <laughs> like the other ma utter madness of coding League of Legends, where 
back in the past, everything was just invisible minions. So if, like, one champion did a certain attack against another champion's, like, ability construct, they would get a ton of gold because they killed minions they weren't supposed to be able to target. Just hilarious. But that shall be it for now. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I try to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, although I am debating on throwing in an occasional, I don't know, like, Thursday stream. I don't know. Because, <laughs> like, I need time to recuperate from streams sometimes. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe eventually. Maybe I'll get good and be able to do four streams a week. But for now, it's just Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want other things from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash neonicewings, with direct links in various bios, descriptions, and link places of the internet, hold links to everything that I do, like my edited content YouTube channel that I'm making scripts for, Neon Icy Wings, my streaming YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, where all these streams get uploaded to after the fact, and then my streaming Twitch. So if you want Twitch, you can go Twitch. If you want YouTube, you can go YouTube for streaming. And if you want other things from me, like my little character in the corner, I also upload some art I draw, like my little character in my insights, to various social medias and art websites. And I also do some writing, some of which I upload to some sites also linked in the link tree. And finally in my link tree is my, a link to my Patreon, a glorified donation box for the extraordinarily kind. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy, but most importantly, be kind and stay hydrated. And thank you for spending your time with me. Bye, bye.